Now, how's this for an incredible feat? Earlier this week, Cornish surfer Tom Butler surfed what's thought to have been one of the world's biggest waves in Portugal. He'll have to wait until next year to find out if he's officially broken the record, but he's now back in the UK and has come into the studio. Tom, I think the first thing I want to say to you is... Um wow and why but this is something that you do a lot of and you've trained a lot for can you just out of interest for us all um talk us through this particular wave and how you took it yeah i'd love to um so this was caught last friday um in down in nazare in portugal as you can see i'm bouncing down the wave the air and the wind is getting underneath my board there i'm in the sky land back and i think maybe once more i take off as well so at this point here, this exact point here, I'm probably as underneath the wave as you possibly can be. The end of the shoulder is over here, so that's where I'm trying to race to. So I've got this whole 20 metre section of water coming down now. And then I'm just focusing on the exit and putting all my body weight and head as far forward as I can to keep my forward momentum going. And then probably at this precise time, I knew the wave was kind of over my head and was going to engulf me. And at that point, it's just remaining focused and relying on all my past experience, really, to drive me out of that situation. I was a little bit blinded by the spray, and at this point, I knew I'd done enough to outrun it, and that's kind of when I could enjoy the ride. Around here, I knew, and I just sort of claimed the wave. You know, that's when you know it's a special one. If you're going to claim it like that, that was just one of the biggest rushes of adrenaline I've ever had and satisfaction and accomplishment. To it's, it's fascinating <laughs> watching you talk about that. How does it feel once you're actually in there? You're so focused and you're not really thinking about what could happen after, what's happened before. It's all got to be right in that exact moment. Mm. Otherwise, you'll get carried away and you'll miss your opportunities. But this is about more than just you. I mean, I'm noticing behind you the jet ski there. And this is a part of your team. This is very much a team sport. Absolutely. Without... Um, the other people in the water, this wouldn't have been accomplished, this wave, so... You've got a whole crew of safety people around you, though. Each one of you knows what each other is, is doing and what you're looking out for. This has to be verified, this particular wave, but there's lots of things to take into account before you know how you've done. Anything from now on going forwards is a bonus, as far as, like, a record or any prestigious wins at the World Surf League Awards. But for me, it's just knowing that I've actually accomplished this wave and surfed it and survived it, and I'll keep that with me forever. So anything on top of the bonus. There are clearly dangers. We, we, we heard from Andrew Cotter not so long ago who, who broke his back. Uh, you've had injuries as well. Is that something that you bear in mind whenever you go into a wave like this, or is it just what you do? Um, my body is very like sensitive. I know if I'm having a good day or a bad day, and to get myself ready for this particular day, I'm up at six o'clock in the morning, stretching, warming up, getting focused, and there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that I'm ready for this occasion on that particular day. If I had any doubt, or you know, if athletes are there for maybe not the correct reasons, then you're not going to perform, and you're not going to surf these waves to the best of your ability if you're there for any other reason. If you're there for stardom or the picture, then you can forget about it. You, you have to want to be in oceans this big and I'll give up my life for this, you know, and um, when it comes together for them, 10 seconds, it's, it's all the work what's gone in behind.